Yeah, we're here at Phoenix Perennials. And if you thought that you could only enjoy your garden during the day, no way. We've got some plants that will brighten up your night coming up next on Breakfast Television. Stay with us. I was 14 years old and I bust tables at a restaurant that we frequented as a family. So that was my first job. I developed that work ethic early uh, here at Phoenix Perennials. Gary, what was your first job? My first job was at a convenience store. And what did you like about that gig? Uh, I liked being on the cash <laughs> register. None of, nobody else liked being on the cash register, but I liked being on the cash register, adding everything. Awesome. Up. Well, your second job, I understand, was working in the business you're in right now. And we are talking about plants that will brighten up the night. What do we have here? So this is a pot in, uh, inspired by moon gardens. So we have white flowers and also fragrant flowers so you can enjoy your garden at night. So let's dissect it a little bit. What kind of flowers do we have in there? Maybe you so, could show I mean, us. Uh, one of the most important parts is to have white flowers that glow at night so you can see them because you're not going to see a red flower at night, but you're going to see the white ones. So we have this one, which is called white dragon. We've got, uh, this guy will open up when the sun comes out a little bit. Um, and, and still bloom in the evening. That's an ice plant. We have little Veronicas that will bloom all night long and also variegated foliage. So we've got whites from the foliage. And what do we need to do to take care of this? Give it some water um, once, twice, three times a okay. week, depending on how hot is it is. Is it almost foolproof? Like, could someone like me keep this alive? You could probably keep this alive <laughs> if you follow a few, um, you know, just pay attention to it. If you just, you know, but you'll be out there drinking your wine, relaxing after a long day. I like that. And you'll be you'll be hanging out with your pot. And then you can see when the pot looks a little bit dry, your plants are wilting a little bit. Perfect. Well, Thor Dyko, by the way, keep, takes care of her plants in the office. I would yeah. kill them. But if you want more information, by the way, on the specific plants we've mentioned here, a full listing is on the website that's coming up on your screen throughout the morning, Jody. Well, if you are a person who thinks inside or outside of the box, you know what? Both can be equally appealing when it comes to gardening. We've got more from Phoenix Perennials coming up next. You're watching BT. We took this trip to Garden Grove. Smell like Lou Dog inside the van. Yeah, thanks very much, Jody. And you know, uh, Gary, a lot of people don't necessarily have a ton of space to garden, but you have some great options, right? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have small gardens these days, and we think that the only thing we can do is plant in a little bit of soil that we have or in a you know a conventional container. But there are all kinds of creative things that we can do to really jazz up the patio. So we're thinking outside space. of the box we right outside now. Outside the box, for instance, we could do some furniture and use some, uh, some found furniture uh, as, a, as a planter. We could make cute little kind of presents uh, with succulents. We could plant up bird cages, or you can even grab a moss purse and plant it up into a fabulous succulent display. And you can get these kinds of things already ready-made, right? How do you care for them to make sure they last? Um, you know, these will last for a number of years. It'd be good to take them out of the elements for the winter so okay. they last a little bit longer. But um, yeah, these will last for a number of years and you just plant it up. If things aren't working, things that something isn't happy in there, just pop it out, plant it somewhere else and try something new. Now we've gone outside of the box and now we're kind of going inside of the box literally back inside the box, <laughs> but outside the box in a way because these are hanging wall planters. Okay. So all you can do, you take this empty one, you fill it with soil, you pop these guys in and you can create your own masterpiece wall hanging, like a painting on the wall. And then how do you take care of it? You can just pour water through it or? You can just spray it with okay. a hose or if, you, if it gets really dry, you can take it down, water it on the ground and put it back up again Some once a week. Some great ideas and I love the fact that you can take something that you might even pick up at a garage sale or find oh, in grandma's yeah. basement or something like that. For more details on Phoenix Perennials, you can go to their website. But Michelle, a ton of inspiration as we kind of get into that mode where we want to have living things and growing things and green things. A lot of restaurants grow their own vegetables, perhaps their own fruit you at home can do that as well but let's Gary talk about what is a grafted vegetable so a grafted vegetable is where you take a really strong rootstock and graft onto it your desirable heirloom or cool modern variety okay and so what you get is more disease resistance more cold tolerance and most importantly much higher yields including a beautiful tomato yeah so one of our customers Ken grew a grafted brandywine tomato and got a hundred pounds off of a single 
little plant wow, last year. Wow, so that's huge yield. So if you think you can't get lots from a container, you can. Let's talk about the next variety you have down there. Uh, these guys are brand new this year. These are the grafted peppers, and they're also grafted eggplants. So we've got hot peppers, sweet peppers, uh, and these will also give you incredible yields because they're grafted onto that extra strong. So you buy them like this, when will you actually get the vegetable? August okay. and September is usually when you'll get your big crops. Now, if you want a little something for your cereal, we've got for one of the cereal. hottest sellers right now. This is crazy. They're sold out everywhere right now, but there there'll be more. What is it? These are the Brazzleberries. Okay. So the two different kinds of blueberries, jelly bean and peach sorbet, and then a raspberry. These are ornamental plants that are you know beautiful to grow on your patio that give you tons of fruit as well. So sold out, but more coming. People can call people here can to pre be on the pre-order and be on the waitlist kind of thing. And yeah, pre-order for August. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, for more details on Phoenix Perennials, you can go to their website. And Jody, I know that we've been going over a lot of these plants very quickly. If you check out their website, they've got a whole list of what we've been talking about and coming up with celebrations. We're talking about some exotics, so you want to tune in for that. So here we have a little bit of botanical intrigue for the shade garden. These are cobra lilies. So they're from Asia. You plant them in sun or part sh or, uh, sorry, shade or part shade, and they give you really cool cool foliage and these really intriguing flowers that look like kind of a cobra snake about to pounce. Beautiful. Now we've got lots of other varieties here and Gabe will get you to make your way over because you have some of the plants that might be a little bit harder to find including this one right here. Including these really interesting little guys. These are kangaroo paws. They're from Australia and they have these little fuzzy little flowers. They bloom for months on end and they look like a little fuzzy kangaroo paw. Very cool. So. Very cool. Well, for more details again on Phoenix Perennials and of course all their beautiful specialty plants, you can go to their website again. Jody, just a reminder if, if people are sort of frantically writing down, oh my gosh, what did he say there? He's got a he's got a list on his website with a little BT logo, I believe. That BT logo. BT logo. Yeah. So click on that and you'll get exactly what we've been talking about all morning long. And we're here at, at Phoenix Perennials where we're talking a little bit about perennials up next with a little bit of an investment now, but it'll save you money in the long term. Stay with us. You're watching BT. Yeah, green thumb. Thank you very much, Michelle. But now, Gary, we're going to inject a little bit of color using perennials. And a lot of people don't necessarily think of perennials when injecting color, right? Well, we know that we get color, but some people don't realize how much color we can get from perennials. We think of annuals as a thing that gives us the color, but with new breeding, we have all kinds of perennials that bloom all summer long, just like an annual. Perfect. And you don't have to replace them every year. I love it. Okay, so we've got one here that you want to point out. So here's a fun one. This one is a sage called hot lips and so right now the flowers are red but later the flowers go by color so they'll be white with a red lip and so this because of its name and because of the flowers it's a perennial favorite here at the nursery <laughs> so to speak and yeah. actually literally is <laughs> and so then here's another one that uh, people will be familiar with because we know this from florist shops this is Alstromeria which we often have in bouquets but here is a garden variety this one is dwarf and compact and as we know with Alstromerias, the flowers last forever. What do we need to do know when it comes to care of your perennial? perennial? Is it different than an annual? Uh, I mean, with perennials, they're pretty easy. So if you choose the right plant for the right place, do a little bit of research, look at your conditions, uh, it's pretty easy. Now we've got some plants that we're looking at. And so up front, here's an amazing group of plants. These are the coral bells or hookara. And look at them. They're so colorful and there's not a flower to be seen in sight. So these are perennials. They come back year after year and they give you tons and tons of color. Beautiful. For more details on all the plants and flowers that we've seen today, here at Phoenix Perennials, Jody, there is on their website a little logo of BT. You click on it and we'll talk about all the flowers and plants that we've been talking about throughout the morning but uh, the sun by the way just starting to come out here in Richmond. <laughs>